that, you know, that mm -hmm. section, you were like, get me out, I can't well, actually, do it, right? that's not true, I did it. I finished the challenge, oh. and when you see me freaking out, that was, that was sort of the worst part, is at the end, I completed the challenge, it just took me a long time to do it. Oh, okay. And then afterwards, they said, okay, now you have to lie there while we remove the snakes, because we have to keep the snakes away from the cockroaches, because if they get together, if the snakes feel the cockroaches, then they'll bite you. Right, so I was like, oh, thanks for telling me this now. Now I have to lie here so that's for where you're freaking more minutes out even doing more. nothing. Oh, my God. And that's when I really freaked out. One thing that it was interesting to me when I was watching you is I know your character very well. <laughs> your character is a bad girl. Mm -hmm. You know, Sammy, people love to hate Sammy. <laughs> so I would think that people want to see Sammy squirm with all those roaches <laughs> on her face. You know what I mean? Like, die, bitch. <laughs> You know, that love to hate. I mean, they love you. They tune in every day. But it's like, right, yeah, now no. you get a taste of your own medicine because I have a list of what Sammy has uh -oh. done to people. Yikes. Sammy has <laughs> drugged and raped a man. <laughs> she has castrated a man, which means you, you, you shot his pee pee off with a gun. Yes. And right? the doctor said he'll never rape another woman. Again. That was, yeah, that was the. And you kidnapped your sister and you were put on death row for murder. But I didn't do it. That one, I, 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 that's what they all say. That's what they all say. They all say that. They all say that. Um, all right. Yeah, so okay. the fans were pretty excited about it. The fans about, were excited. I, yeah. I was a little excited, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get a taste of your own medicine. You were eliminated at one that's point. Right. But the whole thing was for charity, so mm -hmm. they didn't want that big money that you were gonna possibly be winning for charity to go away. So they gave you a second chance yeah. to come back. So after they established that I was going to be eliminated that round, Joe offered me the opportunity to stay in the game if I ate, well, originally the offer was if I ate a cockroach. And he said, and then he said, well, I'll eat one too. And um, my dad taught me never to say no, just to negotiate. Yes. So I said, well, I'll eat a worm. And they said, okay, three worms. <laughs> So, yeah, so all of a sudden the worms seemed like a bigger deal yeah. than I had originally anticipated. And, and they were huge, by the way. I mean, these were like night crawl. Well, I mean, they weren't like, I don't know, little well, worms. I want to see you eat a worm. Uh, so all right, so we have a clip. That one's nice and bad. That's a good one, girl. That's a good You're all good. You're all good. You're all good. You're all good. No, no, no. Don't spit it out. There you go. There you go. Yeah! yeah. You did it. Ow! The gag reflex. Yeah, that's like yeah. that human. <gasps> yeah, you can't help yeah. yourself. What did the worm taste like? Um, it's really sour and like sandy. I, I know, right? You didn't think you were going to get this right now. Um, yeah, it's really gross. It, it, it's just very horribly sour. I would say sort of like lemony sour, but it's, you can't compare it to anything. It's really horrible. Well, lemony sour sounds like a gummy worm. Well, which is really funny because everyone thought it was really hilarious to send me gummy worms oh, they and did send little after. worms yeah. afterwards as of presents. Of course they I was do. Like, oh, ha, ha. All right. So be sure to watch Allison weekdays on Days of Our Lives on NBC. Check out Sammy doing more disgusting things <laughs> to people. And don't miss Freaks and Geeks Fear Factor tonight on NBC. And here's a good clip as we go to break. Okay. We'll be right back. Welcome to Freaks and Geeks Fear Factor. What did you do to your time? You did a flip. Up next, I finally face my debilitating fear of dolphins. We're gonna come all the way down to his tail. <laughs> right there. <laughs> the show I shared with you my fear of dolphins and it's a real fear you know I started tearing up and oh I started crying it's not it's call it what it is right I started crying and it's it's a deep fear that goes back to my childhood and I gave you a little taste of that my guests today were brave enough to conquer their fear of pennies and the fear of birds and now it's my turn to conquer my fear of dolphins Come back. Tyra. <laughs> Tyra, it's not going to be that hard. Come on back. It's going to be easy. Dolphin trainer Mike gave me a pep talk to get me back into the pool. This is fine. We're taking small steps. It's not a big deal. What's your favorite thing to do? What's, what would be your reward? Oh. Kind of like find your happy place. Oh, my happy place? Uh, <laughs> eating in a restaurant. Eating in a restaurant. <laughs> okay. Finally, it was time for the moment of truth. I'm going to have you stay right here. Okay. I'm going to have the trainer send Buster out to me. 
Buster's gonna sit up in front of me and I'm gonna send him right to the back. Okay. okay? All right, Ann, you can uh, get the dolphins. And just so you know exactly what's gonna happen, you're gonna see a little bit of a wave because he's really fast. <laughs> a hard time even looking at Buster. All right, how you doing? You okay? All right. Okay. You want to try being in the water with her? I had to take a deep breath and reach out and touch him. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line him up so his head's facing that way. Okay, so is that the scary part? Facing my fear was far more difficult than I ever thought. And we're going to come all the way down to his tail. <sighs> right there. You made it. Then step by step, I got more comfortable with Buster and started to conquer my fear. He's doing excellent. You did oh. very well. Good, you want to take a little breather? No, I need to keep going. You need to keep going? You sure? Yeah. OK. After over 20 years, my phobia was finally fading away. Before I knew it, I fed a dolphin and hugged. Look right at me. me. Look right at me. His right. body's touching my body. I hugged and kissed the dolphin. Ah! You're okay. Sorry. You're okay. Sorry. <laughs> I even danced with a dolphin. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You actually did farther than I thought. Really? So if you were a dolphin, I'd be giving you a lot of fish right <laughs> okay. now. Okay. But the hardest part was yet to come. What we're going to do with you is we're going to take you over there. We're going to do the same steps that we did with the dolphins here with the killer whales. And have a good day. I felt like the only thing bigger than the killer whales oh, was my fear of them. Oh my god, they're upside down. So they look like white skunks, all that stuff. No, no, they just eat. I'm gonna reach on out. There you go. There you go. I'm doing it. Touching it. You yeah. want to feed her? Okay. okay, that's good. Oh, that's a big one. But the Wells and I did some tricks. Showed off a little bit. wet and wild time. Too and get past yours too. Okay, I just learned another signal. I'm about to do it right now. I got this. Are you ready? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, here we go. I still am tearing up. I'm still tearing up. It just goes to show the fear is not. Over, you know, I've gotten a little past it, but there is something that still lives inside of me. I think now if, when I snorkel, if I do ever see a dolphin, I won't hyperventilate and swallow water and drown. You know, now I'll just be like, Wah! you know, but um, I want to go to Dr. Wiederhold because, you know, today the things that we've done with the guests and what I've done with the dolphins, it's not the cure, but it's, it's the first step, right? Right. No, that's exactly right. They're going to have to do a lot of work when they get home. And you're going to have to still do a lot of work. You're going to have to keep exposing yourself to what you fear in small baby steps. Keep it not avoiding it. You're going to have to control your breathing when you're around it, like Samantha was trying to do. Yes. You're going to have to think more rationally, like Christina was trying to do. So you're going to have to do all those things after today. Got it. Well, in the audience is the SeaWorld Dolphin Trainer, Mike. Mike, thank you so much for helping me. Mike was so patient with me. 
<laughs> you helped me through it so much because you know I was pretty, I was pretty messed up, you know, crying and going on.